Hello everyone, my name is Albert and welcome back to another One Ready Studios video. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to get and how to make an AMD model. Well first and first what you want to do, open whatever browser are using and search for AMD parts. So yeah, here's the thing, most AMDers instead of download they say DL for whatever reason. So first go and DeviantArt is the place for I usually get my parts and all that kind of stuff so yeah let's uh, go and simply browse a little bit I've already done that but I want to show you how to get all those so first and first what you're gonna do want to browse around here don't it doesn't matter the color or the textures or we're not gonna simply but we won't bother with that now we're gonna do that later anyway so first and first, get, uh, get whatever hair are doing. This, I think this is the one that I, that, that I also got, and download it. It should be a download link right here on DeviantArt, or yeah, somewhere around in here. So first and first, after you download it, well, after you get all your parts, simply you're gonna need pants, a shirt, or a t-shirt or I don't know something to put on your character and some pants some shoes some hair and a base which is the most important there are a, a, an absolute ton of bases to choose from but hey I've already done that and here's the thing if you want to put them all for download or for DL well simply go create a file a txt file and naming credits and in it simply go copy and paste the name and the part and yeah this is a simple easy way how to keep track of what you've done so uh, for now we're gonna delete this because we don't need it anymore and we're gonna get on to editing so for this tutorial I'm gonna use PMX editor because it's better for null editing and all that kind of stuff so yep doing your job anyway let's wait for that thing to open because i have some issues lately with my computer actually with my laptop i'm not using an actual computer so anyway uh yeah back on into our businesses so um yeah if you could please ah finally so PMX editor for some sort of reason on my laptop takes up the leap ages. So first and first, we're gonna after you open, simply go and most of those are gonna be zip the simply are gonna be in an archive and yeah, they're gonna be like this. So first and first, create a new folder and simply name it like this. And you wanna get all those into the new folder so get those and hmm, let's uh, choose the first one so one and the new folder and then we close and yeah simply uh, choose whatever one you want so you can also do this extract two and I searched but hey, like this is not useful uh, no. here. here so those get here close it downloads hair here you get the hair and the mail bases I'm gonna use the, this one the color version and yeah there are an absolute ton of stuff right here select all and you know what i think i'm gonna well, do this <clears throat> all right so after those are done simply you're gonna create another folder yes i know an absolute bunch of folders and open this one and in here open one of those Control X all of them or Control V if you like to. So folder and yeah, simply say model or 
simply how we want to name a model. And yeah, we're gonna go right here, control V, and right here, shirts, uh, control X, control V. Okay, the shirts are done, the shoes, control X, control V, the shoes are done. The base, which is the most important thing, this is the thing that you're gonna use to put your parts on. Control V and the hair. So after you're done with all those and made this thing, well simply right now let's go and think in PMX editor. First open this and uh, yeah so first you want to open the base file open and you want to go on the base so you're gonna go uh, huh where did I put that model and the base we're gonna wait for it to load and there we go there we have our base anyway uh, yeah, this is doing its job. So and now you want to not open anything or not save, you want to import. So first and first, uh, what? Uh, let's start with the hair. All right, so the hair, it's, it's something like this. And yeah, it's not in the place it should be. So first and first, you want to go right here and select. So this is what you select and this is what you see you see so right now this is the bone tab you cannot select any bones go now and you can select bones unclick that and no longer so yeah those are the vertices I'm gonna explain those so in here there are two types of vertices all those are all the vertices and those are what you select so let's go like this and yeah you see what you select Anyway, let's go to MSK, this little tab right here. Alright, so yeah, right now all those. So you simply gonna play with those till you get something like this. So I'm not gonna play with bones for now. So, uh, no, no. So. Yeah, this is very tricky to do. So, after we're done with that, simply select the part that you need, in this case. The creator of this hair did this for us, and name them how they should be named, and select them all. Then after that, you're gonna go to all of them, and if you don't like working with those because they're tricky to see, or you simply you simply can't want to work with them, just close them from right here. Anyway, let's uh, raise this thing a, bit, a little bit. So right now it's just a bit calibration, I can say. So we're gonna be very careful not to mess up. Right like this. And yeah, there we go. We have our hair. So after it's set in position, just check it and see if there are any imperfections. Like you can see Jamal's head, like you can right there. So we need to move this all the down further, even though it's going to be that here, which is annoying. You know what? No, we see that because. Something it's up with PMX and it simply shows you through the mall just a little bit and yeah for those of you know what's inside the mall well it's something like this and yeah weird. So after your hair is set in its position go and I don't know choose I simply like choosing the shoes first. Uh, 
with one. And yeah, you can, as you can see here, the shoes are not uh, in the best position and yeah, they are not too good looking. But this is what we, we are going to do now. So, uh, um, I can bet a million dollars that, yeah, those are. Okay, so select one of the shoes and pull it back, like kind of fit it. Don't worry if you get something like, I don't know, simply like you see a little bit of skin, anything through there, or something like that. That's what we are gonna solve. Uh huh. Hmm. So sometimes this is what you select, even though you can select those right here, it's gonna move only the shoe. And if you messed up like this, you can simply con hit Control Z. Anyway, let's, uh, yeah, let's do this. And you can see here, it's not fitting too well. Use these little cubes right here to make it wider or bigger or, yeah, you understand what I'm saying. Control Z. That wasn't necessary. Don't worry if the foot is going like there. I'm gonna show you how to easily fix that. Hmm. A bit more in the front. Hmm. And that should be it. So if those things are right here, simply select the material that's going through. In this case, it's the skin. Am I right? Yes, I am right. And deselect those shoes. And now you're simply going to select all the vertices that are going like this. In this case, the whole foot or simply just the little part right there. I simply like getting just a little bit there. So anyway, let's uh, leave that and right click and split. This is going to create a new material. And yeah, that sometimes might happen. So. Also, check the material at the bottom. I don't know why PMX is doing that. So you're gonna get this split up material. What you're gonna do is gonna delete this. Yes, I know you're deleting characters, but so right now you shouldn't see all of those. You also should see that there. Sometimes this splitting might not work. Might not create any material. But hey, let's uh, yeah, just simply. Take the verses a bit and move them in the front and no one can see that anyway let's uh yeah do some art stuff so oh oh wrong, wrong thing sorry and the shoe and right now it's just about calibrating so i guess i'm gonna speed run this a little bit just because I have already done this. Alright, so you do the same thing, so simply select the material, deselect the one that you are gonna keep. And in this case I don't wanna get too much of the foot. Get this and this split. Just like this. And also check that. This should be the thing and yes, delete this. Sometimes it might appear like a little morphs deleted or a number and morphs deleted. Well, this means the base has been created a bit strangely. So in that case, you need to get the base without the face. 
in this case I got one with the face but hey anyway so yeah after we're done with the shoes you can simply go and transform view or transform view and simply it's gonna open, open up another tab so in this simply you test and see if everything is all right so uh huh. hopefully this is thing and yeah everything looks kind of fine even though that's happening but hey no, there are so many characters that do that do they Uh huh. Well, I'm gonna fix that in the part two. Hmm. Well, I guess something's not weighted correctly, but hey, I'm gonna fix that in the part two of making an MMD model. Anyway, so yeah, right now, this has been the first part of creating an MMD model. Maybe if I get a like or two, I might continue it so i simply gone do a bit of pmx setting and some other stuff i'm gonna close this after we finish with it so yeah till the next time i was albert from 100 studios thank you for watching bye